Now, Ben Miller is back on our screens tomorrow night in a new series of Professor T as the expert criminologist faces well an uncertain future. The defendant, Professor Jasper Tempest, stands before you charged with the attempted murder of one Simon Lanesborough. Attempted murder carries a maximum sentence of life. This is very hard for you. Would you care to outline some of the professor's positive qualities? There is no connection whatsoever. Ben joins me now. It is so good to see you. And this is the third series? The third, yes. yes, absolutely. It's doing so well. It's doing incredibly well. And you've often said that you were born to play this fella. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, there are so many similarities. No, really. it's strange, isn't it? I mean, it? I went to... Ca I wasn't studying criminology. No. Uh, the professor, he's a professor of criminology and he helps the Cambridge police solve these really baffling crimes. I, I never did that right. when I was at uh, university. But I was... Uh, I did want to be an academic. I did want yeah. to stay in that world. And there's, uh, you know, there's a kind of sliding doors version of my life where I'm still there Gosh. in that ivory tower. <laughs> and uh, here's a really strange thing. When we turned up to do the filming of the very first series, the professor's house, so in the story, the yeah. house he grew up in, that's where I wrote my very first comedy sketches because a friend of mine Jeez. had a room in that. Spooky. So it's really spooky. I yeah. know. And then also you've talked about the fact that you've got OCD, so has he, and that kind of gives you an understanding. Of that. that was my yeah. really, really strong connection with the character when I read the story for the first yeah. time. Uh, uh, I think probably everybody's OCD is different, and I'd seen other actors play characters with, with OCD, but I felt that there was room to play a character with OCD sort of from the inside out, to play more of the feeling of why the anxiety... For me, OCD is a sort of a way of coping with anxiety right. until the OCD behaviours kind of get too much in the way. Mm. So, in a way, it was quite a comforting thing to me. And uh, having... Therapy for OCD is really about dealing with the anxiety right. for me. No, I understand. You know, it could that. be different for different. Yeah, people. of course, it's it's sort of comforting because you've got these routines and rituals. You feel that you can well, do. this is the part of I can control yes, this yes. by doing this. Yeah. I'm going to be able to con control yeah. things. And although the character's OCD is very sort of different mm. to mine, mine was more sort of numerical. I count things obsessively. Mm. Um, he is all about order and structure and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. wanting everything just to be so perfect. Which kind of makes him better at his job, in a Which way. Which really helps with his job. Yeah, he's it does. he's brilliant at spotting anything that's slightly out of place, yeah. either in somebody's behaviour or uh, sure. in somebody's psychology. Mm -hmm. And, of course, this is part of his gift. It's a sort of double-handed, right. double-sided coin for him. If you look at it like that, and he's in the jail... Is he going to be well, helping in this people series, in the Yeah, jail? of course, yes. Yeah. So at the end of the last series, he fired a, a shot in the yes. police station. In this series, he ends up going to prison. He thinks maybe just for a night or two, mm. but then uh, he gets accused of murder and it all becomes very, very Ooh, serious. And so he's, he's in prison. And, of course, for the professor, being in prison is... Um, Awful because he can't because because of his OCD and his mm. germophobia, but also brilliant because he's around all these amazing criminals that he's only ever really studied theoretically, ah. and now he's able to observe them in real life. Fascinating. Fascinating it is. As if that wasn't enough to go on, Ben Miller, Diary <laughs> of a Big Bad Wolf. I love this. Now you you've you've already written very successful uh, children's books. This one though, I love this. It's from the perspective of the baddies who are always the more interesting characters anyway. Um, so the big bad wolf, and it turns out he's, he, he was misunderstood, the big he's bad wolf. He's very misunderstood. I mean, he's very hungry. He's very hungry, <laughs> he's starving. He's starving, he's had a very tough winter. <laughs> and um, of course, we all know him from the story of Little Red Riding Hood, yes. and Three Little Pigs. Yeah. Uh, this is a slightly different telling of the tale, so this is more from his point of view. His name is Lawrence. He's been kicked out of the pack for being a bit of a wimp. Oh, and um, really, he's guy. sort of fending for himself. Yeah. And when he comes across Little Red Riding Hood, he's not really quite prepared for how clever she is. She keeps sending him off 
the, she keeps sending him off the scent. I mean, she sends him to the Wicked Witch's house. She sends him <laughs> to try really and blow funny. down the little pig's houses, which we know <laughs> is physically impossible. <laughs> and by the end of it, he's so, he's so confused that he dresses up as Grandma and gets into the bed. So <laughs> it's a slightly different telling of it the is, story. But I like that. I like the perspective of the, the misunderstood baddie. And I think it's a great way to retell, you know, those fairy tales yeah. as well. And kind of, I think one of the things that kids really love as well, apart from the pictures, which mm. is really really, uh, you know, which are wonderful by Elise Paganelli, is they get uh, a really... A diary puts them right in the character yeah. from the get-go. No, exactly. I need to ask you about Death in Paradise, because you, oh, yes. you were the pioneer, <laughs> and everybody's going on about who could be next. Who do you think... Is there anybody you think could do... Could step in there. To I mean, there are so many. It's world. such a great part. It's there's so gorgeous. many, and there's so many brilliant actors. I wonder, is it time to sort of switch it up a bit oh. and have... Um, an, a, a female detective. So, and if we did, yes. maybe Miranda Hart. <gasps> Miranda Hart. I think that would be amazing. But but that whoever would plays be it, fantastic. Whoever She'd plays be it, they'll do a brilliant job. Oh, I know, and they have a, they have the best time, the best yeah. time in the world. Ben, a joy, an absolute joy. So and Professor T returns tomorrow night, nine o'clock. Yes, indeed. Nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. So there. Thank you. Thank you.